I'm headed out here to check on some eggs back here and Cory is spraying the tomatoes to make sure the worms don't get them. But back here, behind all of our trees, here by the fence where our neighbors are, they have chickens and goats and uh, cows. And a while back I found a clutch of eggs back here. And then later, another day, I found Sweetie, our dog, attacking one of their chickens that had gotten over into our yard. So today I found a couple of eggs further by, closer by the house. And um, so I was like, hmm, Sweetie's getting those eggs from somewhere. So let me go back here and check for eggs again. So there are more eggs and I thought I'd bring you guys through the trees back here in the corner the chickens are in that little lean-to shed there and down here in the grass is this clutch of eggs now I don't know how long they've been here I'll have to float them definitely but the last time we had eggs gotten eggs like this uh, there were a lot of them that were questionable, but there were several that we could eat. We'll just take advantage of them and thank the neighbors for their chickens. Um, we can't really have our own right now. Um, probably not. Not really planning on getting any because of all of our produce garden and fruit trees. The chickens like to scratch and uh, that's not good for the roots of the trees, so uh, that's going to be our, our uh, the place I check for, for eggs. <laughs> good morning. It's Thursday, and I want to give you a little update on my herb garden. Here is my camellia. It's putting on a lot of new growth. It did fine through the freezes, and you see all of the little buds here. They're pushing. So that's exciting. And my sweet basil died. I thought it was going to make it, but I pulled it. Um, it didn't make it through the freezes. So I rooted some African basil that I got from a friend. And it's doing really well. I just planted it this morning. Um, but it had a healthy rootstock on the bottom. So I probably should go ahead and trim this stuff back so that it can uh, put all of its energy to establishing itself. My onions are, I haven't taken care of them, so that's why they're still so small, but they are standing up and they're starting to thrive. And my sage is doing really well. Um, no leaf burn, no leaf tip um, issues. I had seen some of that before the freezes. Um, check that out. That thing has spread out and is doing amazingly well. So excited. My rosemary is very healthy. I used some of that cooking my, or roasting my garden fresh tomatoes and onions and garlic. Um, this one's, I don't know, it comes and goes, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, that one is the lemon balm, but there's my other little onions. What I'm most excited about is this. This is my lavender. This one has spread out. Well, actually, in fact, all of them have. However, there are, there's at least one of them that is starting to bloom the purple lavender flowers. This thing has exploded. I don't know if you remember, but I had planted this when it was very small. I did not have the tag for it. Um, and I was like, well, hopefully it will do well. But it has expanded out and is doing well. Here's another lemon balm that's doing really, really well. Um, this blew my mind. Flower is still trying to come back from the freeze. Uh, but I think it will ultimately do well. 
Um, the other one on the other side is doing fabulously. Now over here, my lemongrass, it's really thriving. Um, that is exciting. It's huge. Um, got a couple little plants here that aren't necessarily doing so well, but this is doing better than it was. It looks like it's got powdery mildew on it or something. Um, I think this one was my coneflower. Um, it has not bloomed. It looks like it's got to get, it's had to work on getting more healthy. This little thing here is a weed. So let me go ahead and get that out. This one was my lemon basil. It died. I've got to get it out. I was hoping that by cutting it out back, it would find a way to re-sprout, but it didn't happen. Here is my creeping thyme. It's gotten quite large. And right beside it is lavender. And I am so excited about these blooms. They're gorgeous. I don't know if the camera does it justice. But this is super, super exciting. Really happy about this. Let me see, I don't know if it smells. So the blooms don't seem to have a scent at this point. Um, isn't it just so gorgeous though? It's so pretty. Um, let's see, maybe it's the leaf that has the scent. Let me just kind of crush it in my fingernail. Mmm, that's where the scent is. That's where the oil is. Oh, it smells really good. Really, really good. So I'm, I was, I was looking for lavender all over the place and finally I found it at, I think it was Home Depot when I planted these. So I got four. So that's what I have. So I have two of them that are blooming. No, three of them that are blooming and one of them that is not, but it's very healthy. So it's, I'm, I'm happy about that. Next we have this yellow flower. It's coming back. Part of it had died, but um, I cut back all of that um, and it's doing well. This is my other sage and it has actually started to bloom. I didn't know it had purple flowers, but it's really, really pretty, really welcomed in my garden. Anything that will attract the bees, look, this thing has come back. I had to cut some dead off of it. I'm just thrilled with this. It looks like I have a lot of purple in my garden, but you can tell that that is my favorite color. And this is the, let's see if I can remember what it is. I can't, well, let's see, it's a salvia. It is the Mystic Spire Blue, Spire's Blue Salvia. And it has loved this location. And I'm very thrilled about that. Now this I got from a friend and it doesn't seem to be doing very well. I got it planted. Let me see if I can remember. It's lamb's quarter. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like it's going to make it. Um, I'm not sure what it really needs, but I may have to ask her for some more. And here's the other lavender. It's just beautiful, absolutely precious. There's another little decorative flower. And this, guys, is the dill. I've just let it go ahead and flower, go to seed, because it's beautiful. You can see how it's spread out here. It's gotten really huge. It looks like it's got fresh shoots coming up. I probably do need to cut it back soon. But the bees have been loving it. So I don't want to do it too soon. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Now here's the other Blue My Mind flower. It has fully recovered. It's blooming. It's beautiful. And, uh, so I have hope for the other one to come back. And this one, I don't remember what it's called, but it's doing well. It looks like it's spread out over there a bit. Um, 
doesn't look like I have the marker anywhere close or I'm just not seeing it but it's spreading over there too um, now I'm going to come over here this here is betony this I just transplanted um, not too long ago from a friend she gave me a handful of it um, so that is still figuring itself out and establishing itself this over here I believe is also betony I had betony planted here before and the tops died off but I left the roots in so I believe this is the roots coming back looks very similar to the old to this leaf that I got from my friend um, as compared to what's coming up here so I'm pretty sure that's betony this here is my parsley doing wonderfully well um, so I'm excited about that my um, coriander or what we say is uh, what is it called cilantro isn't do, did not do so well I lost it I don't and I guess there may be a secret to growing cilantro and here is my other I cannot maybe this one's the catnip I'm not sure but the marker has gotten lost somewhere in the middle but it's very he healthy if you know what it is feel free to let me know remind me um, what's this one again it's not doing very well it is the winter tarragon see it's got some issues here maybe I just need to cut them off but it is flowering it is very pretty dainty very dainty flower dainty plant hopefully it will survive this is my other cone flower these things have just really struggled but it's got new growth coming up in the middle and that's a good sign um, and now I'm back over here to where I started so there's an update on my herbs this is my other lavender I guess I have two lavender that are not blooming and two that are so I wonder if the other side is just more of an ideal place this side over here gets a, a little bit more shade so maybe that's the difference over here if you remember I had to cut back all of the onion vine from or I'm sorry the garlic vine from the trellis but it's coming back jasmine is blooming it is beautiful beautiful it's doing really well Let's see if I can focus that yeah it's doing really well and the blooms they smell so good um, my garlic vine is coming back doing very well so I'm sure it will make another shot up the trellis as we see here I just want to take a minute and just enjoy the breeze of today it was windy yesterday afternoon evening today it's very breezy I don't know if there's rain coming or if it's a storm coming but I'm out here enjoying it. It's the perfect spring weather, perfect temperature, um, not too hot, not too cold, breezy, and um, the sun's not hot yet, so I'm just enjoying this out here.